Many people hate three cylinders, perhaps because they became more popular by automakers with the downsizing trend, but the one thing must be admitted, they create an awesome funky sound and often are a better fit for a specific application than a four banger. We are not going to talk about a boring Volkswagen up engine or anything like that. These are some of the strangest out there. I bet you won't recognize every single one. This so-called tiny friendly giant supposedly returns at least 20% better fuel efficiency than any comparable 2 liter alongside its ability to produce 600 horsepower. The trickery is hidden in the basic setup. There are no cams, only electronically solenoid operated valves, which provided other benefit. Twin turbos, each controlled only by its own exhaust valve from each cylinder. The first turbo is always connected, and when real power is required, the second exhaust valve on each cylinder opens, activating the second turbo mounted in a parallel setup. The interesting part is that this engine is mid-rear mounted and sends power to front wheels via a single speed gearbox, although there are three more electric motors for an all-wheel drive system. An opposed piston engine may have two crankshafts or a single one operated underneath the combustion chambers via rocker arms. This engine layout runs in a two-stroke diesel cycle without valves and with a need for a blower constantly providing air in and scavenging exhaust out. This is called a uniflow design with a single air direction. It is very short in height and compact in dimensions. It is a rare layout, used where efficiency has a dominant word, like this Kummer or AK-80's engine. A motorcycle champion Kenny Roberts, with the help of Malaysian company Modenas and Tom Walkinshaw Racing, together created a MotoGP bike with a unique engine layout. Not that a V3 would not exist, Honda proved its qualities, but this one was nearly 180 degree V3 engine with two hanging down and a standing up cylinder. It was mounted in a delta box frame using electronic carburetors without floats, a similar system to a fuel injection. It made about 160 horsepower at the beginning and 180 in 2002. <laughs> With a Pin Farina's beautiful body and Honda's ingenious engineering, the Honda Beat is even today something to look upon with appreciation. K cars were often boosted, not the Beat, with an EO engine which relied only on natural aspiration. Compared to other versions using carburetors, here it was the Amtrak system, multi throttle responsive engine control without VTEC using long intake runners with ITBs, revving all the way over 9000 rpm. Besides, the engine was tilted quite a bit, about 40 to 50 degrees in the engine bay.
The Lover Toyota was created against a strong Japanese competition from a 750cc twin cylinder with an added cylinder, supposedly having a locomotive like torque. Imagine a four banger with a failing cylinder or a single cylinder running alone. Those were the vibrations the Lover Toyota made with a flat plane crankshaft on a three cylinder engine, really pronounced at higher revs. This means 180 degree crank pins, the outer pistons 180 degree offset from the middle one that gave this engine a unique sound until 1982 when they changed the firing order to a conventional and smoother 120 degree offset pins. Fairbanks Moss 32E14 is one of the largest, if not the largest, three cylinder engine in the world. Originally introduced in 1924 under a different name, but yet in 1925 there were over 1000 US cities that received electricity made by these engines. This was a 14 inch bore by a 17 inch stroke engine meant to run between 257 to 360 rpm designed to last years 24 7 of continuous running with things like piston pin and the bushing to be replaced after four and a half running years it was a two-stroke naturally aspirated full diesel engine made from cast iron with a weight of 20 tons in the freeze on the layout these engines were normally in service for decades Nowadays, more like for show than real use. I appreciate you stop by and watch this video, I hope you like it, and if you did, like and comment down below. Thank you and see you in the next one, cheers.